Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a hair routine video using drugstore products in today's video. I just took a shower, washed my hair. I'm about to do my hair care routine, the same hair care routine that I've been using for about half a year now. It's been working really well for me. I adapted it basically from Chris, the blowout professor, his, I think it's called Trilogy Hair Routine. So I've been kind of using that and adding a thing or two of my own. I bought all of his recommendations like the Redken Big Blowout and a few other products like the Purology, but I found some really great drugstore type really affordable products that work just as well in my opinion. So I wanted to share them in today's video. Most of them are from L'Oreal because I feel like L'Oreal lately is killing it in the hair care drugstore hair care affordable umbrella me personally i'm all about finding affordable or alternatives so i wanted to share some in today's video i have all of my products here so i'll kind of talk through them first before i go ahead and apply them i got this cute little hair pouch on amazon i got a set of four one of them is for hair the other one i got for like face and um, skin and things like that. The first thing that I want to talk about is this L'Oreal Ever Pure Bond Strengthening Concentrate. And this is very, very, very similar in my opinion to the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. I'm actually almost all out of this one, but if you look at the ingredients side by side, which I'll actually include here so you guys can compare or you can just look them up online. You might have to pause the video to be able to read the ingredients, but the ingredients for the Redken are right here, and then the ingredients for the L'Oreal are right here. They are very, 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 very similar, and if I'm not mistaken, I think L'Oreal might be an umbrella company under which Redken is kind of like a subsidiary or a sub company. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember something like that, reading something like that online. So if you want to save some money and you've been wanting to try this, I would highly recommend trying the L'Oreal Ever Pure Bond Strengthening Concentrate. I do prefer the smell of the Redken one. This one has, it smells nice, but it has a little bit of like an, you ever like smell um, powder makeup that your grandma used to use from like the 80s or something? It kind of gives off a similar scent to that. So I'm not crazy about it, but it doesn't smell absolutely awful. Like it's not unbearable or anything like that. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. It's not unbearable and it basically does the exact same thing for a fraction of the of the price. I also picked up some new shampoo and conditioner because I'm low on the L'Oreal one. I'm using the L'Oreal one right now. I have the Pro Longer from L'Oreal with the pumps. They are a little bit pricey, but I absolutely love having pumps in shower. I feel like it's just so convenient. But then I came across these on Amazon and decided to give it a try. This is their thickening shampoo and it's supposed to fortify thin hair. It's basically made for thin hair, which I do have. I have fine thin hair and I really like the scent. I just started using it so it almost looks brand new. So it's hard to say, but I feel like with shampoo and conditioner, honestly, my personal, personal opinion, this is not a professional opinion, this is just a personal opinion, but I feel like shampoo and conditioner doesn't really sit on your hair long enough to make that big of a difference if you're looking for volume or if you're looking for certain things. Now, with that, I did want to say that certain formulas might weigh your hair down, might make it more greasy, they might coat your hair. Some people prefer sulfate shampoo, some people prefer sulfate free. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I feel like it depends on what you're looking for. But I like that these are targeted towards thin hair and I like the scent. I also love the Redken the uh, volume injection ones, those I really liked. I didn't feel like they made a big difference in my hair. Whether I used them or not, the main things that made a big difference in my hair is the products that I used post-shower and then also um, how I styled my hair afterwards. So those are some of the things that I personally focus on, but at the same time, you do want to make sure that you're using a shampoo and conditioner that's not going to make your hair worse, it's not going to dry out your hair, it's good for colored hair, things like that. So those are just my two cents on shampoo and conditioner. I've used these a few times and I do like them, so I did want to mention them because I feel like they're almost similar to the Volume Inject if you were looking for something that's kind of like a thickening shampoo and conditioner, which it's not going to thicken your hair, but it is nice for fine thin hair in my opinion. And then I also picked up this because I did recently bleach my hair. So this is basically a purple mask instead of a purple shampoo this is a mask that you leave on on the hair and it comes with three single use tubes like this but i will say that you can definitely get more 
than one use out of a single tube. I probably got three to four uses out of a tube. And you leave it on like a mask after you wash your hair. You leave it on for about five, ten minutes or so and then wash it out. And I will say be careful with the scalp because this did make my scalp a little bit purple. But it seems to be working well otherwise, so I just wanted to mention it because I have been using it and liking it. And then I also found an alternative to the Redken Big Blowout Jelly here. I love this product. It's it's on sale today at Ulta, but it's like a one-day deal type situation when they have their hair sale. But they do have the sale throughout the year, so just keep an eye out. It's on, uh, it's on sale for 50% off. I think it's like $13. Usually it's $26 love how this stuff smells it doesn't give me a ton of a volume if i'm being honest i use it more so to kind of like tame frizz and give me a really smooth blowout look and then i was perusing amazon and i found this right here and i feel like this is basically an identical product description to the redken big blowout i haven't used it yet but i'm going to use it today and we're going to see it smells really nice actually and it's called the weightless blow dry primer so I'm going to give this a try, and if anything, I would say this is probably a really, really good cost alternative to the Redken one. I always use the Pureology leave-in conditioner in my hair. This is one of the first products that I use post-shower. And I did find an alternative for this as well from L'Oreal, and it's called their 21-in-1 Color Caring Spray. It's also a leave-in conditioner. It's rose extract scent. Like I said, L'Oreal is killing it with these cost-effective alternatives. So these two I use every single time in my hair care routine and I feel like I found, I don't want to say dupes because I feel like they're not dupes, but kind of like alternatives if you will. And last but not least, I usually use a hair oil. I've been using Whey just because it's a product that I, that I already had, but then I was watching a video from Abby. She's currently studying trichology and does a ton of hair videos and things like that. And she mentioned some of her favorite hair oils, so I bought this as per her recommendation. This is from the brand Nature Lab Tokyo, and I love it because it looks like a little beaker that you would get in chemistry class. But it smells really nice. I haven't used it yet, but it's an oil mist, so I bought it as per her recommendation. It is a little pricey at $19 compared to like the OGX hair oils or something like that, where those are like nine under $10. But I want to give this a try and see because at $19 it's still more affordable than like the Way or the Olaplex hair oil. So I wanted to mention all of those products first before I got into my hair care routine. Because if you watched my previous videos, what I usually do is I'll do a leave-in conditioning spray. Like this one from Pureology. Then I'll go in with a big blowout jelly. And then I'll do a hair oil on the ends. And I feel like I found an alternative for every single product. So let's get to applying them and we'll see the results. And I always put my hair up in a hair towel. I got these on at Walmart in the store. They came in a pack of two. I like to wrap my hair up right away when it's damp to kind of give it some time to get a little bit dry so it's not like soaking wet so the towel can absorb some of that moisture. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna apply is the L'Oreal 21-in-1 Color Care color caring spray right here. And again, I got everything on Amazon, so I will link it down below. You do have to be careful though with leave-in conditioners if you have fine thin hair like I do, because they can weigh it down. So I'm just gonna do about three, four spritz from a distance. One, two, maybe five. Ah, oh, smells so good actually. I feel like this is probably one of the better smelling. They're both, these two right here, they both are rose extract and they just smell so, so, so nice. So this I'm gonna use next. Usually I use the Redken Big Blowout, but I'm gonna use this next. I'm still looking for an alternative for the Color Wow because sometimes I go between these two right here. The Color Wow gives me more fluffy volume. The Redken gives more of like a sleek, anti-frizz blowout look. But let's go ahead and add some of this blowout cream here from L'Oreal. It honestly smells so good. So I'll just rub it in between my palms and then distribute it throughout the hair, kind of like starting in the back towards the ends and then working my way up. I don't know why the camera color is like so red. I do have a very fine thin hair. I've just naturally always had fine thin hair. It is what it is sometimes. I do what I can, but I can't change the amount of hair on my head unless I did like a hair transplant or something like that. I'm gonna use this wide tooth comb here and distribute the product through the hair, kind of brush it out a little, starting on the ends and then working my way upward. Seriously smells so good. And then I'm gonna take that hair oil. This is a mist, so I don't know if I wanna spray it directly onto my hair. I might spray it onto my hand. It smells really nice as well. I actually like the mist. It's very light. This product is, oof, probably did a little bit too much. It's very oily. Let me actually wipe some off. I have to be very careful with heavy products like oils because 
they can really weigh the hair down. So I'm going to kind of run it through the ends a little bit and then work it up a bit and then go towards the front. I kind of like to do the front last because I feel like that's where if I go in the front first, it might look a little bit too oily. All right, and that is literally it. Those are like, that's the Trilogy hair care routine, the three main products that I use all the time. Sometimes I'll add things in besides those three, but those three I usually always use. For example, sometimes I'll use the Orbe Hair Alchemy. This is like a fortifying serum, which is meant to fortify hair strands. Sometimes I'll use this hair oil first off before I get started. It has just like really great ingredients, found it on Amazon. It's just supposed to use like two times a day. But for the most part, those three products I use every single time I do my hair post shower. But now I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it. I'm gonna use the Shark, and then I'll pop back on here when I'm done. Dare I say that my hair might feel even better using these products than the more expensive ones. My hair feels so soft and looks so smooth. I bleached my hair recently, by the way, and to me it just, it feels, it doesn't feel weighed down. Again, I do have fine thin hair, so I don't have a lot of it, but it looks really nice. It feels really nice. These products get a check mark from me for sure, and this is my first time using some of them, like the leave-in conditioner, the weightless primer, and then the shine oil mist here. All I have to say is, save your money, buy these. I mean, look at this. Super soft and bouncy and lightweight. Absolutely love them. But I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations for some more cost-effective alternatives to high-end products that I've been using. And I feel like these work just as well, if not better. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in future videos.